server because I really don't want to switch servers. But the pings look fine for both teams, right? Or am I wrong? Yeah, they look fine for both teams. I mean, you have single digit ping. This player's obviously on fiber, obviously. Mm. Like well, I can't see the pings in my scoreboard. Shaggy ping for PAE? Oh, really well, okay. That should help him a little bit, because uh, Paru, he seems like he, uh, he didn't do much really in the first game. To be honest, PAE didn't look very well in the first match and Kali Wash. They look, in fact, they didn't even know what they're doing and their main classes are all screwed up. As you Ripple. said, they look like a team that were trying to, uh, still trying to uh, gel with each other, so yes. Right, but the thing is, they have um, Scream experience prior to this Masters mm. Cup, so I don't see why they came a problem with their team cohesion here. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very weird, man. So it actually looks like PAE feels their call 6 now, with Shaggy as the demo. Shaggy yeah. is a decent demo man, he yes, is very well actually. Shaggy is a, st a stable and decent demo man, yes. So you might actually see a better gameplay here. Because mm -hmm. this map is quite, um, well, demo-centric in my opinion. Because, well, yes, I mean, if you have uh, jumping soldiers at your uh, medic, obviously it's a good thing, but I think a demo plays a huge role as well in uh, Biodot. Mm, and yeah, uh, Harumi mostly... seems to be playing sniper as well for this round, so maybe the sniper play for him this time round will be very useful for the team. Yeah, well, I think that MIA are, uh, are in a, be a much better um, position to run a sniper because they've won the first map 5 0, so they'll be definitely trying to do something interesting now. Here yeah, it goes. Apparently, um, Evans is playing sniper. Uh, no, maybe not. But I'm not, I'm not Evans sure. might play sniper. I'm not sure about Who? PAE running a Evans. sniper. EV? Yeah. Alright. Because I'm pretty sure Kate knows how to avoid the sniper in this map. Or maps like Viaduct actually playing utilitarian roles, like give an edge for your own team, maybe like Pyros or Spies, especially when the map is so big. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we might see something like that happening here. Hopefully. Does Panda play for any team, by the way? Hmm, I'm not sure. I think Panda? Mexico? Yeah, Panda. Uh, Kung Fu Panda? Yes. Uh, he does play with someone, I can't remember who. Because uh, he played for Master Ball, I, I can't remember. I think he is. There was a write up on him playing with Sat, I think, on one of the teams. Oh, that's Kung Fu Arc. That's different, I think. That's Kung Fu Panda. Uh, oh. No, ah, shucks, what's his audio? Well, player. it's, it's oh, definitely. Oh, Kobot's, Kobot's raging. He just changed his team name to P. Sucks. <laughs> Oh, now we have this squad in the team. Now that's very, very bad. Yeah, this squad is pr uh, yeah, definitely bad. Oh, you can't pin well, it on watching pa any one player right there. Sorry, the whole on. team is to blame right there. <laughs> cool. Robot raging. Common. Yeah. This is what happens when you don't, you know, when you screw around in pugs and when you have those chances to practice. You just fool around. We are like it's true. Star. Robot 2011. Well, it's definitely watching, uh, I mean, watching Panda is definitely entertaining in Vada. The most annoying spy you'll ever meet in Asia. Oh, I'm pretty sure someone else will say otherwise. <laughs> you better not let it know. Hmm, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're talking about Mr. What's shit, I can't remember his name. Well, we've dealt with Cameron, yes, Cameron. We've dealt with spies easily. <laughs> No, I love Cameron, but I, I think Pat is a much better spy than uh, anybody else. Actually, there are a few decent spies around in the public service. Mm -hmm. Well, that's if you're yeah, very to play annoying. Spy. No, but the thing no. is, all of them, most of them play Dead Ringer, so if they were to play in this type of competition, they would probably not do well. Which is why Pat is amazing, because he's a spy. He's, I mean, at one point in a scrim, he had more points than a medic. Can you believe that? But it's simply amazing. Well, either that, that or the, either he knows how to backstab and not get caught, or the other team just simply plain suck at looking for spies. No, I don't know. I, I think at the top level, he's really, really good as a spy. But see how it goes. Hopefully, he's around in the Masters Cup. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I don't, actually I don't see think you spy play. I don't think you see the spy eh, around so much. Oh, but I'm, what I'm interested in is um, Sat playing for one of the teams because he's a very decent sniper. Because oh. I taught him how to snipe. Because <laughs> oh. of me. Oh, really? Yeah, really? You have lousy <laughs> cocky. You got the you. lag shot, man. The lag shot. Alright, with the random comment that if we lose, I'm gonna go jerk off. Nice. So now we're just waiting for both teams to start. Panda here. Oh, Kung Fu Panda is playing for Mas Master Fu. Yep. So actually, Master Fu has a good lineup as well, actually. <laughs> just because they have Panda? Well, you are the one that keeps saying, oh, he's a good spy, he can kill people. So, oh, yes, yes, expectations, man. Well, I don't forget mm -hmm. what happened in the Merc Cup when Panda got totally slammed for running a spy and fire duck. Right, yeah, yeah that was good. Oh. Yeah, yeah we were, we were um, shitting on Panda because he did absolutely nothing in that match. Well, that is top level play. Spice only well, so effective. Well, who knows? I mean, he's probably learned from his mistakes. Oh, I don't know why I'm defending him a lot. Okay. Well, it's not going to matter, but uh, it's against you guys. It's not going to matter when we're live right now. In the second map of the uh, E-Club TF2 Masters 2011. It's uh, MIA versus uh, PA here. Her. This is the second map, the first map being Galivash Pro, where MIA took it 5-0 without mm -hmm. much resistance. Yep. At Hello, the moment, you. PA, you are a mess whoa, whoa. right now. But, uh, well, the scout's going aggressive with the sniper already. Who's that? Oh, Haru, he's trying to pick up. That was a bad against the sniper. That was Yo, wow. Yo went aggressive and he just got the demo. Good pick. Cobalt will pop back and uh, kill his own onto EV, but... Man, they're forced back from the point. Good job there by Frank, jumping the, the sniper, not giving him a chance to pick anyone up. Yes, Put well... Sorry, go on. Well, Total important. overwhelming pressure by the MI team on the MIS team. Exactly. Yeah, this is how you play against a sniper, you have to keep oh, jumping. Oh, MIS running sprints as well, they're gonna kill a lot of players. Can you catch him in time? Okay. He's got Uber. Ooh, oh, oh nice shot. Ah, big mistake by, there. Yeah. Big mistake because this is why snipers are actually very important on maps like this because they can pick up all the important characters right here, right now. Yeah, but MIE made a huge mistake there holding the right hand side forward well, without, I mean, with like four players down. Obviously, like the other side will leak and they're gonna get picks from all over. Well, PA made a mistake as well by popping Uber for no reason just to kill two guys, but well, I, I think they were kind of unlucky as well because um, the medic went down for uh, MIE. So now we're just seeing mass spam on the middle point. Well, this mm -hmm. looks like a more decent match than the one sided affair on Gallywash. Exactly, and uh, PA running a sniper as well, how are he? Oh, Evans is playing sniper as well on MIA, so this might look up to be a sniper battle between both teams. Yeah, good body shot by Hari on to Yug. A common misconception by many players out there, as a sniper, this misconception is that you must always hit shot, but no, remember, body shots work as well, and that exactly. is very, very important. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back, you guys can see. Right now, Evans is trying to play sniper, but... Oh, okay. He hit shot at S13 right there. Oh, he's got the yeah. medic pin next to the rock right now. Medic got hit once. Scott got hit once. And I hope Evan saw that sniper dot on him right now Cause he should really take out the other sniper first before going out for anything Oh Ripple just suicided just to take out Brandon And he also took down Chopper as well That's a good, very good trade off it, right there Yeah, this shows how good uh, Ripple is on uh, one on one situations His shots are actually very accurate and will take down quite a lot of people Given no pressure at all oh, What is happening to MIA? They're getting picked apart one by one a lot right here. So PAE Yong popped Yong just Uber. made blue pop. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Can. Emma, Emma uh -huh. has Uber. Oh, they have crits right now. They're gonna crit Frank and. That was a bad time for the crits. They wasted like probably two seconds of crits just walking across. I think the crits well, will be a lot more. Are down anyway. 
Cobalt is pointing out whether the tribalman shift is actually allowed. Is it allowed? Not sure. Man. Oh, oh, point of contention. Looks like you're good. Good play from by PA so far. And Pierre actually ha having um, a lower time than um, MLA. Looks like both teams so have are going in their direction at the moment. Yep. Looks like both teams have dropped this time. <laughs> Preferring the shot over two huge kills. Yes. Well, Shaggy might not be do, um, not be like, killing a lot, but he's doing a lot of damage. He's doing the splash oh. damages to force the other team to retreat. Actually, I think that's very important mm -hmm. maps like these. Yep. And am I Chris as well? Kind of a premature crits. Well, he got forced right there. I mean, medical is trapped in the corner. Oh, right. He was gonna die anyway, so. I see. Nothing else to lose, I guess. Okay, well, this is the mistake I've seen every team make. They uh, cap middle, and they they just want to push um, the enemy back to the point from no reason. I mean, you have cap the point, just uh, just hang back. You know, you don't have to push again. Well, yeah, if you do hold for it, you gotta have all six of your players up. The moment you lose a player, you have to pull out immediately. Yeah, well, if you're not confident about holding forward, just hold backwards. You see. Well, it looks like the first round on the scoreboard for PAE is full game right here. Yeah. I think we might be uh, seeing come back here. Well, come back will be very exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brendan just sticky, sticky jump all the way to the front just to actually spam the front line, and oh, PAE combo getting pushed out right here. This is not good. Oh, Ripple actually yeah, playing aggressively to get the the medic. Yes. That's the thing about oh. Ripple. <laughs> Good by Ripple plays a very decent aggressive soldier, or rather a roamer. Oh, oh that was a very good shot. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, Ripple actually plays a very good aggressive soldier on maps like these where he can catch you off guard and take you up very fast. Well, I guess he has nothing to lose because he doesn't have to watch his back you know, like for leaks and anything. Yes. So that four so of effort. Well, out of the back full battle, uh, MIA just managed to cap middle and they have an advantage now. What do you think about en uh, engineer being played on a map like this? Will it ho help the team hold the point better? Only if, only if you have already capped middle and if you're already like uh, set things up that you can uh, defend the point, then yes, then it makes sense. We should hopefully we get to see some engineer plays on Viaduct soon enough because I think that will mm -hmm. add a good element to it. Yes. Who is radical? Should be a good. Good pick by Ripple on the MIS scale. And uh, both teams are running crits. Oh no, actually a PA is running crits. Shit, the medic will be taken out soon, I think. <laughs> no. The medic survives well. Nice push and chip away damage by the scats on the demo. So looks like so MIA far. are slowly regaining control of the point right here. Yes, so um, and now so it's all it's better the but they have to remember that PA running crits so they could crit at any time. They have to be uh, they have to be aware of that. I think PA are running Uber right now. Oh they're running crits. Oh okay. Running crits, yes. Oh you doing a great job there. Oh Still goes down by delaying the crit, saving his team from the full. Yeah, that's good. And now they can counter Uber and push him back. Oh, here comes Uber right now. oh shit, but the devil goes down for uh, my Not a good sign. And they have to pull back right now. They might, be, they might get flanked from behind. Yep. Oh, and uh, Chopper floating for it for too long and eventually he'll get grinded down to pieces. They had, they had the right idea by pushing back uh, after the crit was over, but the, the problem was that Scouts got uh, the MIA demo, so. The that MIA, was the MIA have Uber when PAE crits, or did they wait for PAE yes. crits? Yes, no, no, they didn't Uber right away. Just Ubered after the crits is over. Ah, but they did, they did have Uber, right? 
Yes, they had Uber. Oh, they, they, they did pop the Uber, but the problem was that they moved down to... Oh, they should have really just like pop one guy in with Uber and straight away go for the medic right there. <laughs> when they quits in. I mean, when you do pop quits, you're gonna commit forward anyway. And, yes. and, then, and then running straight into Uber, not the best, not the best idea. Lots of fights in the middle. Oh, you're going huge there, taking down Shaggy and Cobalt. Leaving only Haruhi on the sniper, hopefully getting a pick on the medic. Oh, oh. Evans there going down. And of course, Haruhi Seems gets spotted. There's a lot of offensive switcher play here today on Viaduct. A lot of them jumping straight in just to take out all the important classes, such as the no. medic and the sniper. Well, while they do that, they're actually neglecting their own medic, so yeah. It's not really a good thing. Nobody wins. It all depends on how the positioning are. If the team are actually clustered together, the, then can the soldier afford to actually play offensively? Mm -hmm. So, uh, of yeah. Of course, pop there. I'm kind of disappointed to Mech see that the uh, support classes are not actually being utilized here. Oh, Frank really needs to jump the medic right now. I mean, jump the sniper. Stealing it. Play by my, my, yes. Got the sniper down, soldier down, medic down. And demo down as well. Uh, now Frank just needs to hold this position right here. And keep the left hand side in check while his team spans on the right. And it looks like PAE so are... Am I Let's see. Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, PAE are just holding back right now. Oh, big mistake there. The two scouts going down to Frank's rockets right there. Frank had good we'll, position. We'll see though, we'll see. Nah, we'll see, uh, can't do anything. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Oh my god, Ricoli actually wanted to <laughs> <laughs> combo with the demo and the soldier, but both of them got wiped out by the sticky trap, leaving him all alone. That was yeah. just simply hilarious. What then he was again? like, what? what's going on? Why am I all alone? Hmm. Oh, looks like KE okay, uh, swap classes again. Haruhi going scout, Cobalt going sniper. Yeah. Mm. So now we're even on uh, Viaduct with 1-1 one one with MIA taking the last round. Ooh, oh! Air shot, hit shot. Very nice. Any body shot, another guy as well, nice. MIA should really pull back now, but not anymore. <laughs> they get two kills of their own. They committed too much, really, yeah. Do you guys think that when they finally play, cap the point, they should one of them should actually play a heavy to lay down a suppressing yes. fire? Exactly, yes, I yeah, think they should. Heavy is very great against jumping soldiers right now. It's a surprise class and actually, oh, oh they had their force to Uber down. Oh, <gasps> medic, medic down. Got medic drop. Down. Medic drop Uber. He was left all alone, he couldn't do anything about it. Especially when he was holding crits. Oh, right, crits. Oh, mistake well. there by Brendan there. Jumping oh, in. Good kills by Harry. Scores there, one to one. Drop the uh, snipers or PE, you know? Cobalt's playing sniper or how he switches back to scout. And yes, Cobalt is really doing a decent job. Kinda. For those who don't know, we are there also another match currently being played. Uh, we have Masters Fu versus uh, R Square. R Square. So uh, if you guys are getting bored of Viaduct, you could go over to the other server to actually spec. Swat TV, not server. strange reason now, uh, MIA totally lost their offensive power, they are being pushed back totally to their base by the Totally overwhelmed. Sorry about that guys. So what's happening is the score still 1-1 one, one for both teams? Yes. Yeah. Apparently uh, MIA like got... PA have the advantage, yes? What? Sorry? No, M MIA actually push, got pushed back all the way to their base, which is very, very, very strange. Oh, that's bad. Demo down for uh, MIA. Two guys down for MIA and Shuggy's down as well for uh, Oh, PA. look at that. You're all over that soldier there. Soldier mm. had no idea he was being shot at. 
Or maybe Yugo is missing yep. all his shots. Well, there we go. Oh, medic down as well. Good pick by Harahi. I don't think Kick will be very happy right now. Yes, and PAE have the the midpoint and they have the Uber advantage, the quiz advantage, whatever that is. Oh, good try there from you, trying to get back at the medic there immediately. Well, if Pierre's not, oh, they should not force Uber. Uh, well, it was a good, it was a good pick. I mean, a good pick pop by Red, but man, I don't know. You shouldn't have Uber. They should have held down a bit longer and actually hold really that exactly. defensive Uber, especially when yes. you're defending the point. Am I well, yeah, they have the advantage here. Uh, they have like 30 seconds left on the clock, but the thing is, um, should hold it. Uh, held on to it a little longer. Yes. Well, it's not going to matter anyway. Oh, well, Reed just took the point back. Well, okay, well, just holding for it with Reed there. Then, yes. Nice. Things would be different if um, Blue actually held their Uber. <laughs> nah, things would be different oh, if... Follow the oh. face! <laughs> things would be... <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny! Uh, things would be different if PAE managed to like fall back fast enough instead of holding 4 with only 3 players. Yes. Because uh, Sticky's... Uh, no, well, okay, now I get Sticky's by Shaggy. Well, MIA's uh, pushed right there on, right. onto the point where it's in the greatest, but... Mm. PAE making the mistake of having only 3 players forward really gave yep. MIA like... You know, the chance to really overwhelm them slowly. Yeah, definitely. Something about but the, the scouts, yeah, look at that. So. I mean, they were forced to Uber to save the point, but the thing is that the scouts for PA were behind them, so... Yes, they can't really do much now. Oh, they're gonna be some rabbit. The medic's gonna go down, yes, he's down. Soldier's gonna go down as well. It's Yug versus two guys. Oh, it's a demo. Good dodging skills by Yug. Oh, it's a scout as well. Oh, MIA does not want to give up this point, because... Yeah. It's over. Uh, yes. MIA did not really want to give up that point because... Yeah, PA is leading now 2 to 1. Something I noticed thus far, whenever any of the teams capture the point, they actually don't really have a defending line. All of them play offensively trying to push the team back to their base, which is something you shouldn't be doing on a map like KOTH. You actually emphasize most of your defense on the point itself instead of pushing them back. Because exactly. you're just putting yourself at a disadvantage, especially if they catch you off guard. Then you're just yeah, leaving your point totally open. Exactly. Oh, as long time. as you cap the point, as, listen. As long as you cap the point, pushing the the back is like the icing on the cake. You don't really need it, but uh, it just um, it it sweetens the flavor. Yeah. yeah, it's like you know, if you have the midpoint, you push them back to buy more time to you know, so that they don't come out so fast. Mm -hmm. No, no. You could actually just lay suppressing fire instead of just pushing them all the way. It is rather well, risky. True, well, that's what I think. I think Asian teams have to learn how to play defensively after they've capped middle. Because I, because the problem is that all the Asian teams they actually overextend, and then they lose their medic, or they have to pop the Uber for no reason, so yeah. It's yes, not really I a good definitely thing. understand that, because that has happened to me before when I was screaming about two years back. My team mm -hmm. tend to overextend themselves back then, so I tend to be either left alone or really way behind, and I get wiped out normally by a back running mm -hmm. scout. I think it's MIA's turn to be a bit lost in this map. PAE yes. seems to know what they're doing more. Yeah, they're putting up a fight, but they're not, actually not coordinating together. I mean, they have to understand. They have to understand the balance where, like, the scouts play defensive, the combo plays aggressive, but that's not happening. I think in maps like this, you have to risk playing one scout and another utilitarian role instead of playing two scouts because yeah, I think probably, two, yeah. two scouts are. Oh, they just left their point again. Oh, Shuggy, so. Uh, Gonna get caught off guard. Oh, never mind. Oh, Red is just. Well, a good clean up, yes. Yeah, good clean up by uh, MIA. Evans is hiding in the corner. Now he's capping. Hiding where is he? Evans? He's hiding on the right hand side. Waiting for. Waiting for an uh, unknowing guy to come up. Oh, this is a good spot. If he gets a medic pick here, yeah, they will be back in this game. He's allowing yeah, the blue team not now. to know that he's there. Should go now, I think. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. He, he should have been spotted by the soldier, but... Oh, no, wow, oh are you my. Why did he do that? He oh, wow, he Well, okay, soldier down, but still. Yeah. Yeah. He could've got the meta pick. Well, it wouldn't have made a difference right now. Okay, so I think it would've. Because when a medic goes down, it actually, like, your whole team gets kind of flushed through and stuff. Oh. Well, they're not gonna push in without Uber right now. I mean, without this. It was a good clean up and good, good, uh, good kills by MIA. 
Am I going to stop this point? Kill the demo value over all both teams if you would on the point. Um, am I here slightly uh, in a better advantage? But oh my god, they left the soldier. He should be going down soon. Yeah, he goes down. Um, <laughs> bad play, bad sloppy play by am I? Oh, Evan should slow down there and get a tap of Ruber from Kig right there. Oh man, this is bad. Well, Brandon, Brandon responds with two kills, but still, it goes down. Here comes my A, coming in one by one and getting picked by the soldiers. See, like, it's, it's, so, uh, it's so obvious that both teams have the, the skills. Okay, well, they're gonna ask for a pause, am I? No one can see. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. I paused it. Cody just got wiped out by a rolling nade. The evil rolling nade of death. So what's going on here for MIA? What, what are they doing wrong? In contrast to what Who they were doing. Again? Halu? Yep, Halu. The Halu dropped okay. out. Halu dropped out. Okay, the score's now 2-1 uh, to for PAA and we're paused at the moment. Okay, what's going wrong? Okay, the problem is that MIA, they're actually getting kills. More kills, so... I mean, yeah, more so kills than uh, uh, PAA. The problem is that they... Um, they're not, um, what you call it? they're not looking out for their surroundings, they're, um, they kill and they die right away. Which is uh, focused on surviving after they've killed. In other words, they're playing just like Pavers. Mm -hmm. So, what, what is lacking right here is that none of the teams are actually playing defensively after capturing the point, as I said before. And I think, yeah, they, sh and they I should think seriously learn to do that. I think MIA is having trouble like, dealing with like, um, the two soldiers from PAE jumping at them, just diving Either in. that or they last. They should know how to um, play more utilitarian instead of really playing two scouts. If you notice, every time Ripple jumps in, he gets two or three kills. Ripple is very good at suiciding killing because, I don't know, his aim is just good for some strange reason. If he sets mm -hmm. you in his sights, you are probably dead. So what I'm interested yep. is they should probably play a bit maybe heavy or uh, an uh, engineer to be to actually help bend the point. Waiting for maybe that will change the flow of the game. Waiting for MIA. First, right now, if you notice, PA tends to be very very aggressive, as in like they will either rocket jump towards you or they have one big cluster of people coming in. So if you have a, either a level three sentry or heavy, you could probably like um sort of push them back in a sense mm -hmm. so this may be where MIA is actually lacking in yeah as you can see here uh, PA are in an uh, advantage they have 50 seconds left on the clock to cap them at all or to fully wait out till mid is, uh, mid is capped Four, and uh, three, MIA have two, two minutes one, I'm pausing so the winning format of KOTH is the first to three round difference right? I'm not sure. No, first of four. Oh um, shit, four. I, I can't switch to anybody. It's first of four. Okay. Oh no. I'm gonna reconnect my uh, guys, hang on. They accidentally put up my demo recorder and I couldn't switch paths. Well, MIE finally takes back the middle point, and now they have a minute and 50 seconds to try to hold the middle. So now they're actually playing more defensively, so... Who knows? I still can't switch, why? I guess you have a bind wrong. Oh, Brendan, they're going... That's a curse in my screen, damn it. Oh, Brendan with oh. three kills right there. King is totally all alone. Oh, four kills there. That's a frag Rido moment there for Brendan. Oh, damn it, I can't switch. Perhaps finding Mouse One to plus a tackle work? No. Hang on, guys, I'll reconnect my tier 2 hang on. Oh, Frank gets the medic. Yeah, yeah, trying to hold off MIA. Well, this is going to be a tall task for MIA, holding on to the point for one minute without half the team up right now. And Brandon meant to get, get a kill.
Sorry guys, but I'm restarting my TF2 now. Long launch. How long have we been into this game thus far? Anyone actually notice? Pardon? I'm not sure. Oh, according to CMD, it's almost an hour into this round. Oh, not really. I don't think it's an hour. No, um, the first map was only 20 minutes, then there was like a 10, 5 to 10 minute delay before this map began. Again, then 3 rounds in, 4 rounds in now. So 4 rounds times 6. 20, 20. And now we have PA taking the third round of DS. Now, now the scores are 3 1 to PAE. Coming now. Or rather, Coming 3 1 to PAE sucks. <laughs> well, MI really has to step up if they want to take this map. So, Nata, how's the scoring format for this again? First for this four. QOTH format? First to 4, no time limit. Mm. Mm. First to 4 rounds, no time limit, and yeah, PA only needs one more round to take this map. To force a draw. So, probably in long game. Uh -huh. Unless PA can take the next two games. Yeah, this is a startling contrast compared to what happened in Gully Wash. Where MIA just took 5 rounds without reply from PAE. This right like here right now you can see that Fire Dark is actually a very good map for PAE because of their deathmatching ability. Especially their offensive soldier ripple. I think well Shaggy MIA should take heart MIA should take heart the fact that they, there's no time limit so they can actually make a comeback. But the thing is, um again, again they're lost players and uh, they're down by 30 seconds. They really have to do something now. I thought that they had to make a surprising class change such that they will impact the whole game right now. It looks like the surprising no, well, class change is coming from PAE with the heavy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. With Cobalt with the heavy. It's gonna be huge, man. Yeah, I, I don't and think. And they got as well. I think MIA is gonna have a huge problem jumping the soldiers in right now because, you know. Yeah, because of the heavy. Oh, the heavy I mean, forward. Oh, he's gonna play aggressive, though. Oh, wow, look oh, at that. that Cobalt there. Cobalt there and Ripple. Dominated. Just cornering them and then just. Dropping rockets right on top of them. <laughs> yeah, dominated really. Hmm, oh, are they going to get spawn cam? I think PAE almost made a mistake there, but decided to pull back and, and not commit to that spawn spawn cam. Oh, how do just dropped out again? By very uh, who? How do you just dropped out again? I think this spells the end for MIA. <laughs> Losing a player permanently is not going to really help them push back and win. The happy is being very dynamic by moving around a lot. Yeah, he's staying like far back and spamming bullets oh, look at and that, moving look at in that. when the. <laughs> Did in you see that? Did you see that? Yes, he jumped that. over the rocket like a matrix thing. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> was, was shit on. It was really like me. Yeah. Oh, going down to three straight nades by Brendan. Are you sure? 60 seconds left. Okay. It all boils down to this last <laughs> final minute for MIA. <laughs> Ever landed on the medic's head? Oh, I think this is yeah, gone all wrong. This has just gone all wrong for MIA. Oh, bottle battle! Bottle battle! Unless something miracle hap miraculous happens, I don't think they can back from this yet. This, this is, it became a 6v5, so I don't think MIA can actually come back from this. I assume they've, they've given up already. But they should take to heart that they did decently on capture point maps like Gully Wash where they actually took down the convincingly with a 5-0 win. This means yes. that they have very good teamwork, so we might actually see them have better games to come. Yeah, so all in all, uh, both teams won one map a piece, so it's not too bad. But at the same time, it's kind of worrying because every single round will include Viaduct and I don't think MIA are doing very well in Viaduct, so this is a map that other teams are going to forcing the play. So knowing yeah, they right. lost 4-1 yes. to PAE right here. Yep. So that's it. Uh, PAE takes this round 4-1 on Viaduct. So overall, the match between PAE and MIA, we have a draw match where MIA first took Kalibosh 5-0 and now we have PAE taking the round 4-1. Alright, so that right. will be that. And, uh, Let's move on to the Masterful versus Extreme Revolution game. Yeah, I will not be casting the match, so it might have to be you at two or somebody else.
I will be going away for a moment to have some stuff. Alright, Arch, we have a way. 